Hey guys, it's Killbuster here, and on this video, I'm going to be showing you guys version 8 of the Uber Killbuster app. So let's go ahead and go into the app. So uh, one thing to tell you guys is that all these features that I'm here to show you guys today is um, they will they could change at any time. So they're all subject to change, um, but obviously that doesn't happen very often. Um, this the release date for this new version of the app will be on Friday the 13th, that is next Friday, that is February 13th, 2015. So let's go ahead and go into the first new feature. Now, I'll only be skimming through some features today. Um, there's a lot more to explore after this, um, but I'm going into detail with uh, the main thing. So if you go into what's new, you go into next version, and you see that it says now updating to the next version link. You'll just type that into your browser and it'll take you to the download page. And so if you go or you can just click on it and you'll see three options here. You can check for an update, you can download the, the software update, or you can uh, see how to install it, like go through all of the procedures for either your Android or iOS device. So I'm just going to click on one of these things. I'm going to do check for an update. And it's going to take me on over to the browser, or if you're on iOS, it's going to show, it's just going to show up. And uh, you can see right there, it says version 8.0 alpha. This is uh, version 8.0 beta 2, so, you know, it's it's not in alpha anymore. It's in beta now, so I, I just forgot to update that. Um, but that will be updated by the time that the new um, version of this app is released. So let's go ahead and go back. And uh, at times, this app, I might be going back into it and it might uh, refresh or like look like it crashes. And that's just because it's uh, it's refreshing the app in the background because I have a screen recorder on. It's just for security reasons. And so uh, if you go into what's new, you'll see that there's two new sections. And I'll get to video trend in a second. Um, but finally, we got more sections in the what's new. So um, you guys can go to news and announcements and that'll bring up a YouTube playlist and it'll show you guys um, all of the announcements and news that I have going on for uh, my channel. So you can see the trailer for version A, you can see uh, the Uber Killbuster uh, news too, and you can see the massive channel update video that I that I posted. Uh, it announces that all my gameplay is screen recorded now, and uh, so you guys should check that out. You guys should check out all my gameplay now um, if you guys haven't already seen my channel art at the top. So um, next up is that you guys will see um, that the Destiny section, uh, uh, the Destiny Alpha, the Destiny Beta, and the Destiny gameplay sections were all three deleted, and they're just condensed into this one section. And if you if you press on Destiny, uh, you guys will see three options that come up here. And uh, I I will add a back button. I I looks like I forgot it, but um, but all three of these sections right here uh, will bring you to different things, and it'll be a combination of uh, the alpha, the beta and the real game. And so let's say I wanted to see the entire storyline. It'll load a playlist and it'll show everything uh, from part one all the way through part nine of the Destiny gameplay because those uh, all cover um, the Destiny storyline. So now let's go ahead and uh, go to the next feature. And you guys can see a, a new feature. It's called Early Access right here. And if you press on early access, you can see uh, this playlist that comes up with all of the videos um, of things that I've gotten uh, access to early. So uh, like all of the Destiny Alpha, the Destiny Beta, and even the two uh, DLC weapons for Call of Duty um, that I was able to get like a few weeks early. Um, so uh, new videos for that will be updated uh, when I get access to things before they come out. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the next feature. The next feature is something that everyone should have been expecting. Uh, probably the most expected feature of this version. It's the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare section. And if we press on that, uh, you can see it brings up a playlist of all of the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare um, videos that I've posted. They're all in order right here. And I'm hoping to get um, the next uh, the next video of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare um, will be coming out sometime next week. Remember, that will be 
um, map uh, map reviews of all of the maps on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, so be sure to check that one out. It's just kind of in between these two series right here. So just taking a little bit of a break from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. But those videos should that video should be uh, posted as early in the week as I can get it. So let's go ahead and go to the next for uh, the next uh, feature here. The next feature is uh, there's a new um, font color in the, uh, what's new on this version. So if you go to what's new and then go to what's new on this version, you guys can see it's in red text. So uh, I'll go ahead and scroll down here real slowly so you guys can take a look at all of the new uh, features here. So this list again might be updated or the wording might be changed around a little bit. Um, when I, uh, uh, over this next, uh, two weeks here, um, but you guys can just kind of get an idea of what you guys are going to see in version 8.0 of the app. So, next up is there's a new font color for, uh, next version. So, if you go into there, uh, you guys can see that, um, there is a yellow font color now, and, uh, so anyway, uh, really quickly, this isn't on my list here that's sitting in front of me to show you guys, um, but I'll go ahead and tell you guys, uh, these two features, the Call of Duty, um, uh, whatever this year's Call of Duty is going to be, I will be uploading videos for that, and so that you can expect that section to be added into version 9, definitely, and the liked videos section will be added. I just thought that might be neat because, you know, if I like the video, maybe you guys will like it too, so it'll be really cool. I don't really like videos that often, and so uh, it, it really, you know, it's really got to be cool for me to like it. So, um, anyway, uh, so the next feature that is on here is you can see the video trend section. Now, this used to be the latest videos uh, section, but I just, I took it off. You guys might have seen that in the... Uh, in the trailer of version 8 of the app, but I just took it off because uh, that causes way too much maintenance and updating for uh, this app. Um, so I just went ahead and condensed it down. Uh, I just changed it around a little bit. And you guys can see here it says the video trend is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare map reviews. Um, so basically it's just what's trending on my YouTube channel, what I'm usually uploading at this time on my YouTube channel. And so... Uh, that isn't up there yet, by the way, uh, but by the time this app is released, that will be there. And uh, so you can see the link to the, all the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare videos are right there. So you can just click on that and it'll automatically bring up YouTube with the uh, the whole playlist that I showed you guys earlier um, with all the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare videos. So let's go ahead and go into the app again. It's going to go ahead and refresh here. And we're going to take a look at the next feature, and that is years. That's the years section. In the years section, um, you can see right here below Destiny. If you go in there, uh, my YouTube channel has actually been around since 2012. I joined at 10.31 p.m. on Halloween night at, uh, in uh, 2012. Um, and uh, if you're wondering why I know that, I just checked. But um, I didn't actually post a video yet until 2013, so there's really no point in putting a 2012 section on there if, if there's not going to be any videos there. But let's say that I wanted to see my very earliest videos, the 2013 videos. So I could just click on uh, 2013, and you can see all of the videos that I posted in 2013. So it looks like there's uh, 41 videos here, so I could just keep scrolling down. And 2014 is pretty big. I, I got like 76 videos or something like that in 2014, so... That's really cool. You guys can go ahead and check that out. So next is updates to non-auto uh, update sections. Um, so those are things like uh, the top viewed section. So you guys can see that that was updated slightly here. Um, just some things uh, were uh, running in order like humor. You guys can see that those were rearranged and stuff. Some new things were added. Um, so... Then next is a trans the Trans Siberian Orchestra at the Sprint Center 2014. If you go onto that, you guys can check out all five videos that I uploaded from the Trans Siberian uh, Orchestra concert at the Sprint Center in 2014. Um, so that's really cool, you guys, to check out all five of these videos right here that I uploaded on Christmas Day for the Christmas Day special. The last thing I'm going to be discussing with you guys today is that you'll see that there is no 
um, Call of Duty Elite section anymore, and that's because that service is outdated now. They have the Call of Duty app, uh, the Call of Duty Ghost app for uh, for all the mobile devices, and they've also got the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare um, app. So there's just there's no point in putting that on there anymore. So again, this uh, this will be released on Friday the 13th. That's February 13th, 2015. That's next Friday. And so uh, you guys can take a look at the link down below and uh, install it on your device then. And if you guys are wondering why I'm screen recording on my Android device, it's because the certificate for the screen recorder on my iPod ran out. And so now i got to use my uh, Android device. Um, but anyway, so I went ahead and showed you guys on this. Now, uh, if you guys have any questions about this, you guys can leave it in the comments section below. One last thing before I let you guys go here is that the uh, the new version of this app will be uploaded on the 13th, and the version 7 had a little bit of uh, some new technology in there, um, like, you know, they had auto-update sections and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if... I think version 6 had that as well, but I'm not exactly sure. I mean, but nobody at this point should be on version 6. Everybody should be on version 7 and on Friday, version 8. So make sure when version 8 comes out, you update right away because I'll be dropping some of the services for version 7 on St. Patrick's Day. So you guys have a little over a month to update, so that should be plenty of time for you guys to update. Um, I'm pretty sure that you're, if you have an iOS device, that it will update automatically. Um, but if it doesn't, just follow the install guide that I'll be posting. Um, it takes a few more hours than it uh, does for Android for the developing software to push out the iOS version. So um, when when like I mean I'll I'll post uh, the Android install guide before the iOS install guide because it'll take a little longer um, for that one to come out. And so, um, but anyway. Uh, so, yeah, make sure that you guys update by March 17th, uh, because otherwise you guys just won't have service. Some things will still work, but some things won't, so it's just better to update, uh, anyway. So it's not like I'm posting, I'm not, like, gonna post, like, an 8.0.1 version, I'm, I'm just gonna go to version 9. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll post an install guide as soon as this is available on Friday the 13th. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Remember to like this video and uh, leave comments and questions down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video.